G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. With me is Ben of Revell Cycling Components and he's got a very exciting new lineup of wheels that he's gonna tell us all about. They're designed for gravel and all sorts of off-road cycling adventures. Awesome, thanks so much. What we're looking at here are the new Terra wheels from Roval, and I've got the Terra CLX here. The goal was to create the benchmark for gravel wheels. So we of course went with a 25 mil internal rim width. We wanted to make these wheels durable for the gravel riding. We wanted to make them lightweight. These are 1,296 grams with the rim tape and the valve, so we hit that. We wanted to make the ride quality really smooth, so we worked on the layup and the geometry of the rim to make it really smooth riding. So we feel great about that. The CLX also, because it's a 25, you can run as narrow as a 28C tire if you want. It's got a hook bead so you can run the full pressure. So it's the lightest clincher wheel we've ever made at under 1300 grams, but it passes off-road standards and it's ready to go. Really an exciting product. If you want to go a little bit bigger on your tire, we've got the Evos and we're doing the Terra CLX Evo in both a 700C and a 650. So if you want to ride the large your rubber, have a little more volume and not have the squirm on your tire, what you're going to want is a wide rim. Full 30 millimeter internal rim width, which seems really big at first, but the reality is it gives you the benefit of more volume, being able to drop your pressure and still have a no squirm ride. So all the benefits you're really looking for. We're excited about the Terra wheels from Roval. We hope you are too. Go have a chance on them. I had the opportunity to ride the Raval Terra CLX wheels during the camp, which I'll talk more about later on, but in the meantime, here are the detailed specs. The primary objective was to create the best gravel wheels we could and within that we recognize there's a plurality of what gravel means um, but really the target was to make a wheel that was durable enough to take people deep and bring them back home one that was going to be light so that the performance was there always sort of the driver is can we make the equipment disappear under the rider you know just dissolve those distinctions and being light is a big piece in that um, and then ride quality was really key because as we're getting into um, you know terrain that's not as smooth, then a smooth ride in the in the rig is really beneficial. So those were really the drivers. So that's the Terra CLX, and sort of what we said was like one wheel to rule all roads. So you could put a 28C and full pressure on that, it's like a new school road wheel. You could run as fat a tire as you want. I had Renegade 29 by 18s on there. Um, so really a broad spectrum and can radically impact the characteristic of the bike you're riding. And there's not another wheel that can do that. There's not another 25 mil internal wheel that can run full high pressure at 28 or all the way up to big. Another thing was that to make sure that the tubeless performance would be great, the rim profile, you'll see a really pronounced valley in the middle. That holds the two beads of the tire together in there. So you're gonna get contact between the tire and the rim which means inflation is gonna be a whole lot easier. Once it actually comes up and then the shelf actually slopes down. So as the bead inflates, that snap really rocks into a pocket that's unique. And that really helps in terms of just a secure contact between the bead and the rim, decreasing burping, those kinds of things that we've all experienced. Another thing just to touch on for those who are interested there's a new DT free hub called DXP. We're using it on this. And instead of two floating star ratchets, it's just got one. Yeah, that'd be great. So it's got just one star ratchet that floats. One is stationary here. And the benefits are, are multifaceted. If you look in, you can actually see the race of the bearing. It nests inside of that inboard star ratchet which means that you've got less unsupported axle. So you've got a stronger setup. It's also a lighter free hub situation. It's also fewer moving parts, which all things told is always it's better, really right? In some way, it's in a funny way. And while we're on the free hub piece, um, the Terra CLX is gonna be available with the Shimano HD or the XDR free hub. 
other configurations if someone's a camping person or regular XD, whatever, those will be available, but from DT themselves, so retrofitable. But you can't run the old free hub style on the new EXP. It's not compatible. Evo wheels are a full 30 mil internal, so quite wide. Um, and also they came in astonishingly light. So the, e, the Evo um, 700s are 1,357 grams. It's for a 700C 30 mil internal. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a one of a kind. And then 1303, I wish it was three grams lighter. We could have taken the tape off, but 1,303 grams was the 650 Evo. So a 1,300 gram wheel set, all those weights are with tape and valve stems. We kind of had to come up with our own gravel impact test standard. So we benchmarked a bunch of stuff that's out there and ended up with a test that uh, we use a 28C tire and then we use a curb striker like we use for all of our road wheels and then a mountain bike striker too. So uh, we we're kind of looking at both scenarios when you're actually riding it as a road wheel and when you're hitting rocks like on this stuff out here. So yeah, we like <clears throat> we kind of use the worst case but real world scenario. One thing, another thing to say just on the CLX, it's the lightest clincher wheel we've ever made. So it's lighter than like the CLX 32, which in a tubular conversion, you know, has won the polka dot jersey and lots of stages in the tour, etc. It's the lightest and it meets that off-road standard. Um, pretty amazing. So it, one really cool thing that we did is we, we put 28C turbo cotton tires on the Terra CLX. We put 24C turbo cotton tires on the CLX 32. That Terra set up with the fatter rubber ended up being 11 grams lighter than the skinny one. So that just kind of illustrated the point. Like if you talk to most road riders today, there's no downside to running that yeah. more generous tire, lower pressure, better ride quality, lower rolling resistance. The only thing you bump up against is, you know, over 18 miles an hour, the drag, the reduced drag from the narrow tire outweighs the rolling resistance benefit of the big tire. But at the end of the day, is that what people are really going for? In addition to the media camp, I used the Reval Terra CLX 25mm internal wheels at the 2019 Grand Giro in Quincy, California. I have a lot of good to say about a wheel that I can forget about and focus squarely on the riding. Initial impressions are the low weight of these wheels is very beneficial to climbing for extended periods of time, but more than that, they are a solid all-rounder wheel that can take an awful lot of punishment. I'll be reviewing the Reval Terra CLX wheels long term, so watch this space along with my Grind Giro video coming soon to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. I must also pass along a huge thank you to Michael Blacksmith Cycle for loaning me the beautiful Tatichi GR2 carbon gravel bike, which is a machine I'll be reviewing a little later on. On that same subject, I'll be featuring all of the beautiful bikes that Mike supplied for the camp, all of which are shod with Reval's Terra wheels in some form or another. Finally, thank you to Billy and Nick of Echoes Communication for their part in organising the camp and the entire crew from Reval and Specialised Bikes. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.